What's up everyone? My name is Kelsey. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a little update video for my 2020 reading goals. I do this little update every quarter. So this is quarter two, that's April, May, and June. I'll link my original goals and wrap up video up above, but I'm basically gonna cover everything here, so. All right, my first goal for 2020 was to read four books off of my physical TBR every month. Um, for Q1, I did pretty decent at that. I think I only ended up unhauling four books, but Q2 was not so great. Um, April, I only read one book, and that was There Will Come a Darkness by Katie Rules Pool. In May, I read three books off my physical TBR, Truth Witch by Susan Dennard, The Sundown Motel by Simone St. James, and Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. And then in June, also only one off of my physical TBR, and that was uh, Unbroken, 13 Stories Starring Disabled Teens. So that's going rough. Basically my deal was if I didn't read four books, then I had to unhaul whatever the difference was. So we'll get to the unhaul portion later. My next goal was to read one nonfiction book every month and that was like a general goal, so 12 for the whole year, not necessarily one every month. So in Q1, I read two, Sex Positive, and So You Want to Talk About Race, and in Q2, I read Creativity Inc. by Ed Catmull, which was sort of a memoir and advice book, and I really enjoyed it. And then I also read So You've Been Publicly Shamed by John Ronson. That's another one I really enjoyed, and it was about um, public shaming on the internet. All right, so my next goal was to read more middle grade and I'm sucking at that. I only read one in Q1, which was The Best at It by Malik Pancholi, and Q2 I haven't read any. I'm currently reading one, but that'll be for Q3, so that's really not going well. Um, I don't really know what to do about it though, because I did start another one, but I ended up DNFing it, and I guess it's just harder for me like I don't hear about middle grade books, so it's harder to remember them when I'm doing like book browsing, if that makes sense. So yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to get better at keeping like a running list written down of middle grade books that sound interesting to me. All right, and my last goal, was that my last goal? Yes, so my last goal for this year was to read more books with POC main characters. And in Q1, I read five, but I'm after my Q1 update, I decided to change this goal because I read five books, but two of them were written by white people. And I was like, this doesn't really achieve the purpose that I wanted. So instead the new goal is to read books by POC authors, which makes a lot more sense considering my whole intent is to uh, broaden my reading perspective and reading books by white people is not really going to do that. So that means in Q1, I only read three for excluding the white authors. Um, and in Q2, I read nine, so way better. I guess all of those books, I'll just list them real quick. Uh, Mexican Gothic by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. That actually released this month and it was really good and you guys should check it out. Uh, next was Real Life by Brandon Taylor, which I enjoyed, but it was literary fiction and I definitely say it's not for everyone. It was very sad. <laughs> Next was Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar, which I adored, and I did a whole video on it that I'll link up above. Then You Brought Me the Ocean by Alex Sanchez and Julie Morrow. This was a graphic novel that I was kind of disappointed in, but I still gave it three and a, three and a half stars, three stars. So I didn't hate it, it just like didn't live up to my expectations. Then Check Please Book Two by Ngozi Ukazu. This is a graphic novel that I loved, it was book two. This is What It Feels Like by Rebecca Barrow, which I also really loved, gave that one five stars. Labyrinth Lost by Zareta Cordova. This is a young adult fantasy that I really enjoyed. Then The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta, young adult contemporary novel in verse. Another one I loved, five stars. And then Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds, another novel in verse that I gave five stars. So that goal is both going very well this quarter and it's given me a lot of books that I really loved. So hopefully I can keep that up. All right, now for the unhaul portion of this, I have to unhaul seven books. These are in no particular order. These are just books on my shelf that I kind of decided I was less interested in now that I'm making myself narrow it down. So first I'm unhauling Harry Potter and the Tales of Beatles, Beetle the Bard by JK Rowling. This is sort of a companion children's book with stories from the universe and I just, I haven't read it and I have no interest in getting emotionally attached to another book written by JK Rowling. So that's gonna go. Next is The Program by Suzanne Young. This is a young adult book from like the early 2000s. 
and it's kind of lost my interest. It's another one of those like dystopian that were really popular after the big Hunger Games craze. And I just don't have a ton of faith that the topic is gonna be handled well because it's all about um, depression and suicide. And I just, you know, I'm not super confident. Next I have Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. I don't know if I lost the cover or is this the cover? Who knows? I got this at a garage sale because it was a classic and I was like, I should get this for myself. But honestly, I don't care to read it. <laughs> I'm not that interested and there are things I would rather put my time into. Same with this one, The Bridges of Madison County. You know, I was like, this is another classic. I should probably read this, but going through the synopsis, I'm like, I do not care about any of these people. No. Uh, next is Butcher Bird by Richard Cadry. Um, I'm actually, I started this one and DNF'd it. I don't know, does that still count as unhauling? I'm gonna count it because I tried to read it off my physical TBR. I got like 20 pages into this and wasn't enjoying it at all. It's like trying really hard to be edgy and, hold on. I actually put this, put some notes in my unhaul section because I'll do a video on my recent unhauls eventually. All right. DNFs, sorry. That's it. There is like no world building. It just like threw you into things and I didn't enjoy that aspect. <laughs> there's, I mean, I'm only on page 20 and I can already tell you that there's no flow. There's just like random bits of this dude's life shoved into a narrative. It's very erratic and very jumpy. <laughs> and this main character is constantly talking about sex, like fucking all the time. And it's like, I get it, man. You have sex. You're popular with the ladies. I understand. And then also there's a lesbian best friend, but like her only fucking personality is that she's a lesbian. And I just, you know, when was this book written? I think this was a reprint of a book from the 90s. So should have known. No, 2005. So fewer excuses for your shitty lesbian BFF. It just felt really, I don't know, fetishizing. It was weird. Next is uh, The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I'm kind of bummed about unhauling this one because it was a gift from my brother, but James Dashner is like kind of a huge asshole and I don't want to invest in the rest of his books. So I just feel like I'm not going to read this one. And last is Forgive Me Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick. And this is a young adult contemporary about, I'm pretty sure, a school shooting or a su- is it a school shooting or a suicide? Yes, it's a shooting. Um, and it's from the perspective of the killer, I think. And I'm just, you know, first of all, I feel like it'll make me cry and I'm not interested in that right now. And second, I just don't know if I care for that perspective enough to want to read a whole book about it. So those are all my unhauls. I'm pretty set on them, but if you want to make like a really strong case for one of these in the comments, go for it. Uh, but that's it for this video. It was a quick one. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know how you're doing with your goals. I'm curious to see if other people have just like given up. I don't know. This goal for reading four books off my TBR is sort of like a non-goal because the whole point is to make my TBR smaller. And whether I read them or unhaul them, I'm meeting the goal. You know what I mean? All right. If you like this video, hit like. If you want to see more, subscribe. I post percolated videos every Wednesday. If you want to keep talking, you can find me on Twitter or Instagram at Kelsey Reads or Goodreads at Kelsey Lynn Reads. Otherwise, I'll see you next week.